Dear all, I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of Power Electronics. In this session, I will be discussing what do we mean by tie resistor. Before beginning the session, I request everyone to subscribe my channel. If this content is really useful, kindly share the content with your friends and colleagues. Let's get to understand about tie resistors. What is a tie resistor? Can you say something about tie resistor? Yeah, tie resistor is a family of semiconductor device. Of course, it's a control device. Usually, tie resistor will be having four layers and uh, PN PN structure, and uh, it will be having three junctions. Especially if I talk about one of the member of tie resistor that is SCR, it is having three junctions. I let you know what is SCR later on. Silicon control rectifier thereafter. Usually the terminals are anode, cathode, and gate. Gate is the control terminal. Okay, it's a control terminal. As I already mentioned that tie resistor is a control device, unlike power diode. Okay, and you can able to see the tie resistor in this fashion. There are different companies are providing tie resistor. However, a general electric company has been introduced tie resistor first. They have re recalled the name as tie resistor. General electric company. You can. There are different varieties of tie resistors available. Better you can download the data sheet and get more information. So 2N6397 is one of the tie resistor. Okay. Likewise, you can able to see how can you identify the different terminals. K stand for cathode, G stand for gate for anode. Likewise, you can identify. Clear. So once you get the particular tie resistor, you can able to identify the legs of tie resistor. It will be helpful for doing the connections. So this is actually the type. There is a studies available here. So you can have a different observation on different type of tie resistors. Now let us discuss about what are the different members of tie resistor family. So there are different family members which are under tie resistor. First, I want to inform you that silicon control rectifier is a very important member of tie resistor. SCR stands for silicon control rectifier, which is having anode, cathode, and gate terminal. Clear? And also, if you connect two SCR in anti-parallel, then one of the device is generating that is called triac. Triac is nothing but anti-parallel or inverse parallel connection of two SCRs. This is your triac. Okay, triac is helpful for doing the bidirectional control, where SCR is an unidirectional control device. Both are control device only. And if you connect two power diode in anti-parallel, we'll be having one device that is called diac. Diac is nothing but diode for alternating current. Triac is nothing but triode for alternating current. Similarly, another type of SCR is called LASCR. LA means a light activated silicon control rectifier. I'll let you know later in detail. Time being, you can able to understand these are the different family members of uh, tie resistor. And also gate turn of tie resistor GTO. GTO it's a special varieties of tie resistor family member. Okay, it is having more advantageous features compared to silicon control rectifier. And the shock clear diode is also one of the family member of tie resistor. And also you can see different varieties like uh, GATT. GATT stands for gate assisted. T stands for reverse conducting tie resistor. Clear. And uh, few more are also available. MOS. What is MOS? MOS stands for MOS MTO. MTO stands for MOS turn of tie resistor. MTO. And uh, ETO stands for emitter turn of tie resistor. You can remember that these are the different family members of tie resistor like SCR. Diac, Triac, all those things you can remember. So in this module, we'll be discussing in depth about individual devices. First of all, we'll be starting with the SCR only because that is quite important. I think almost all the universities have been included uh, the topic SCR uh, in their curriculum. So definitely we have to cover uh, SCR first. Afterwards, we will be having discussion of Di Diac, Triac, GTO, etc. And the GATT, RCT, ETO, MTO are the special varieties of devices that we'll also have a brief discussion. Now, can you compare tie resistor with the power transistor? In the last module, we have discussed about power transistor. So, in Viva examination, if you are preparing for an interview, definitely this question will be really helpful. So, uh, treat this matter is very important. 
can you compare thyristor and power transistor there are few differences which i observed the first difference is thyristor has low on state conduction loss and also the power handling capability of thyristor is superior as that of power transistor and if i talk about the switching speed switching speed of thyristor is less compared to power transistor for that purpose there are restrictions in the usage of thyristor but regarding the power handling capability and uh, low state uh, on uh, low, low on state conduction loss thyristor is superior as compared to uh, power transistor and overall switching loss is very much high in case of uh, thyristor to be frank we can able to say that if i compute the overall switching loss that is high in thyristor so these are the major differences between thyristor and the power transistor this can be expected in your viva vos examination or if you are preparing for an interview especially semiconductor companies uh, this kind of questions can be repeated please have a note on this compare power transistors and thyristor power transistor we already discussed such as power bjt power igbt power mosfet etc so what are the difference between thyristor such as uh, thyristor family we familiar you can compare transistor with a thyristor based on uh, conduction loss power handling capability the operating speed etc right what are the major applications of thyristors we will be having different applications we can make use of thyristors in different applications such as controlled rectifier and you can use it for inverter uh, then speed control of universal motor using uh, triac it is one of the very good application you can uh, do the smooth speed control smooth variation of speed by using the firing angle of tra uh, particular triac okay so we i already composed a video on that that i will uh, show you at that time it will be very clear for you then you can use it for a dimmer stat light dimmer like, like you can control the brightness of the lamp by using a diac diac and triac combination you can make use of that similarly high voltage dc transmission system uh, that is very important at the sending end side we need a uh, rect rectifier at the receiving end side we require an inverter so inside rectifier make use of uh, this particular SCR. So HVDC is one of the major applications. Some cases light activated SCR is also employed over there. Then reactive power compensators. Different type of reactive power compensators are available. Uh, thyristor, switched capacitor, then unified power conditioning devices. In that you can use make use of yes. Then high power uh, pulse generator LASCR. That is another application of uh, this particular uh, rec the rectifier systems you can make use of that. Similarly, uh, AC motor drive and high power inverter, GTO can be used for this. So in this slide you will understand that, where, uh, what about the usage of TRIAC, what about the application of SCR, what about the application of DIAC, then where does LACR employed, so how about the usage of gate turn of uh, thyristor, see SCR, TRIAC, DIAC, GTO, LACR, all are under the family of thyristor, so please make a note of this. So, uh, this is actually the various applications of uh, thyristor. So, I have referred the following textbooks. Even uh, these websites also really helped me to get the information. You may refer this website for uh, getting more information. So, in this video what I discussed is, I have given a brief glance on thyristor. What is a thyristor? What are the different family members under thyristor? Okay. Uh, we have made a list of different type of family members and I have a brief uh, discussion overview I made an overview in this session okay and uh, you have to try you have to download some data sheet of thyristors then it will be easy for you to understand where does it use and more specification will be obtained from the data sheet itself later on I could be able to compare the thyristor with the power transistor what are the major differences okay if you are having any questions you can ask with me uh, definitely I will revert and thank you for listening this video. Have a good time.